All right, welcome back to Perdido Key Gaming. Today we've got some more uh, Magic the Gathering. We've got another Ikoria pre-release pack. So as as you know, these come with a you know six packs plus uh, you know a promo card and I think a die, right? Or not a die? Spin down counter. Yep. So normally you get these, you know, you can get these at the pre-release parties at your local game store if you were actually allowed to go to them. Well, you're allowed to go to them, you're just not allowed to play that much. So spin down counter, yes. Handy dandy box, I suppose could be of some value. A uh how to play a mutate in unpredictable cyclone April 2020 remember those days and a uh, magic the arena code to get six boosters from arena and you get some thick uh counters and some sort of uh, divider card with a growl monster on it and of course six booster packs so yeah for Icoria at least a couple of you know a couple of months ago a month ago a couple of weeks ago something like that shark typhoon fiend artisan uh Luminous Broodmoth, Ketria Triome, Zygal Triome, Raurin Triome, and Vivian are your heavy hitters. But otherwise, you know, um, you get the typical stuff. Now, Ram Through, always popular. Whisper Squad, Cloud Piercer, Mole Pequite, Moscrow Goriak, Footfall Crater. Idantha Crystal, Bastion of Remembrance, which is pretty handy. Cub Warden for the rare, along with a Foil Gruda Doom of the Depths. Depths of rare, so that's kind of nice. We got that going for us. And I just realized something. Hold on, let me do something with this lighting. There. Beautiful. December sunlight coming in. Of course, down here on the key, it's t-shirt weather outside on one of the last days of December. <laughs> Startling development. Forbidden friendship. Solid footing. I always thought that was kind of handy. Flash enchantment. Frost links. Another handy uh, one-stop card. Bushmeat Poacher, Far Finder, Spring Jaw Trap, Excavation Mole, Boot Nipper, Rooting Mullock, Sprite Dragon, another foil in the back, Frill Scare, Frill Scare Mentor for your warrior. You can pair that up with your Zendikar guys. Enters the battlefield, put a menace card on a target non human creature you control. Whirlwind of Thought, and a Sprite Dragon along with a scoured barons and a human soldier. So yeah, the, there was always a discussion whether these pre-release pre -release packs or the starter decks or starter things, you know, that you could pick up at the, at the Friday night magic or that the um, pre-release parties had more good stuff in them, you know, to kind of lure people in pacifism always handy blister spit sonorous howl bonder mystic subdual chanted creature gets minus two minus zero and loses all abilities archipelago leviathan extinction event and a foil mountain in a regular form and a regular land yeah anyway 
Choose odd or even. Exile each creature with a converted mana cost of that chosen value. Zero is even. Pyroceratops. Blade Banish. Capture Sphere. The Whisper Squad again. Sudden Spinnerets. Thwart the enemy. Pategia Tiger. Shredded Sails. Hampering Snare. Another minus two, minus zero to the end of turn. Evolving Wiles, the ever ubiquitous. I suppose if you had a 60 card deck and you put four Evolving Wilds in there, would it matter? Just for giggles? I should start doing that. Make it a 64 deck only because the Evolving Wilds are finding the land you need. Proud Wild Bonder. Reconnaissance Mission. Heartless Act. Yes. That one's a bucker. Two, and good old Umori the Collector. So what is that? That's two of uh, the companions, which were nerfed. So far, none of the big heavy hitters, but, you know, always fun. Of one mind. Dran Stinger, Posing Vanasaur. Survivors Bond, Bushmeat Poacher, Blood Curdle, Plummet. Like Plummet in the green deck. If you're expecting uh, flyers, which, you know, depends on the deck. Heightened Reflexes, Aegis Turtle. Charge of the Forever Beast, that's a pretty cool green card. Um, reveal a creature card from your hand and then... You know, three drop, reveal that creature card, might be a heavy hitter, and it deals damage equal to its uh, power to a creature. Dire Tactics, Gem Razor, Thornwood Falls, Human Soldier. Yeah, set yourself up with some charge of the forever beast and some ram throughs and of course uh I'm a, you know some of the decks are just annoyingly you can see what's going to happen you know at least on arena you can see what's going to happen <laughs> you just might as well quit now right lord draxus Drac dracus and eerie ultimatum and a forest and a dino. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for the pre-release. Uh, I didn't see any crazy thing that would make me suspect that a pre-release uh, pack had uh, more interesting stuff in it. But I guess uh, if you think about it, the companions definitely were interesting. And, uh, you know, at least that when Ikoria came out and then uh, they got nerfed, so... Don't see any of them in the top uh, seven, seven to eight cards, though. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Um, if you like what you see, please hit like, hit subscribe, come back for more, and uh, leave me a comment in the, in the comments section, of course, and uh, let me know what you think. We'll see you tomorrow for some more Perdido Key Gaming.